1 Corinthians 7, 38. Thus both are right alike in marrying and in refraining from marriage. But he who does not marry will be found to have done better. And this is, of course, Paul's opinion. What he's saying is you can do more work being single because you don't have to work with your family. God can use you in more instances, which is proven to be true. You're not bound. Um, Esther 8, 7 through 8. The king Asherah said to Esther the queen and to Mordecai the Jew, If I have freely granted you all that was Haman's, he said, he laid his hand on the Jews and hanged him on a gallows. What do you further seek? And so he, she, he's telling her, I did away with your enemy. But, so, what do you further seek? And he's saying, your people are safe. What do you seek? Reasonable response, because at this point, he's like, oh, didn't I give you what you wanted? And he's saying, okay, I ain't going to give it to you. He's like, what possibly more could you want? I also, this is him just saying it, to the Jews, as it pleases you, in the king's name, to seal it with the king's ring, for the writing which is written in the king's name, and sealed it in the king's ring, that it may not be reversed by any man. Okay. The him doing this would make it irreversible, as long as that empire stood, which the Greeks would be the next and it fall away, but it lasted... And what it's saying is if he sealed it, the next king couldn't come along and change it. It protected Jewish people in that kingdom. And you know, we may have to face threat before we see God bring in us protection. Because sometimes when that happens, we appreciate it more.